Hi everybody. What I'd like to do today is a quick tabletop review of the Steiger Mucklock. Um, to give you a little bit of background, I was talking to my wife about uh, a month and a half ago now. Told her that I really wanted to take a winter vacation this year. So she assumed that like most people I'd want to go somewhere like uh, Florida, Dominican Republic, somewhere in Mexico, somewhere nice and warm where there'd be beaches and sun and sand and everything else. Well, if you watch enough of my, my videos, you know I am far from being a normal person. And so what I wanted to do for a winter vacation was apparently in Wisconsin it's not cold enough for me. So I'm going to be going to Northern Maine with Midwest Native Skills to do their winter survival week-long class. And one of the big requirements for that class is being able to keep your feet warm. And I talked to uh, the owner of Midwest Native Skills, Tom Laskowski, who, by the way, in uh, the four or five years that I've known him, has never given me a bum steer. He said about the only footwear that he really recommends for that trip is going to be a muckluck. And as far as mucklucks go, he recommended Steiger mucklucks. So I got on the internet and I went to Steiger mucklucks. And uh, they are a company located in Ely, Minnesota. All, everything that they make is completely 100% USA made, and they are great products. And placed an order, and within a couple of days, I got my Steiger Mucklocks. Um, essentially what this is, and I'm going to move the camera just a bit so you can see the Mucklock a little bit better. But it is a moose hide lower on the boot. Sorry, that's for me. I gotta go. Sorry about that, but uh, duty calls. So, um, as I was saying, these mucklucks are made out of a moose hide lower, and um, all of the stitching and all of the handwork, everything is really, really um, nicely done. It's very clean. Um, no problems at all with the quality. Um, the bottoms of these are a very, very soft, almost like a crepe rubber with a very aggressive tread on them. Uh, the upper is made out of canvas. And now one thing to note about these, these are not waterproof. Uh, these on the Steiger website show as being rated to as much as 40 below zero, depending on how you size them. Uh, so when it's that cold, you don't need to worry about water and you don't waterproof them with anything except for what Steiger recommends. They have a waterproofing that will uh, make the, uh, the hide water resistant, but it won't trap moisture and everything else in the mucklock. So if you're gonna waterproof them, you wanna use this. Now, uh, back to this, I'll talk about the wet weather options in just a little bit, but basically inside this mucklock, you have a wool liner. The, the wool one set of wool liners comes with the mucklucks. You have a wool felt in pair of wool felt insoles. These also come with the mucklucks. And then you have a uh, contoured insole because there really is no structure inside the mucklucks, but it comes with this. So you're putting a lot into the mucklock. So when they recommend that when you buy them for extremely cold weather, they say that you should actually order them up to two sizes larger than you typically wear. But uh, it's, it's a really great uh, little mucklock. Uh, one of the big advantages of it is weight. And so I'm gonna turn this on for you and show you what these weigh because they weigh really next to nothing. Let this catch up and now put this on here and this mucklock with the insoles installed weighs about 26 ounces. Oh, a little more than that. Let me check something here. Thought so. They're lighter than that. I had my orthotic insert in there. So let's try this again. They weigh just over 23 ounces for each uh, mucklock. Now you compare that to my lacrosse heavy butt kicking winter winter boots and that one weighs 64 ounces. So that is almost 
40 ounces difference. That's three pounds difference per foot when you go with the muckluck versus the heavy winter boot. And so uh, they do rate these down to ex for extremely cold weather. This is the Arctic version of what they make. All of this lacing ties up around the length of the, the canvas upper to keep everything in place. Uh, they're probably about, a little hard to see here, but they're knee-high boots. And uh, when you walk in them, it is the most unbelievable experience I think I've ever had. Uh, it's like walking almost barefoot, except that your feet are warm. So uh, you're, one of the reasons it keeps your feet so warm is that your foot actually gets to move inside the mucklock with the very soft bottom. They are extremely pliable. Uh, it's a really, really great product. As with most great products, they're not cheap. Uh, this is the Arctic version. It goes for $179 plus shipping. But uh, when it comes to real, real cold weather uh, footwear, uh, it is tough to beat these. Um, I've not used them yet. I will give you another review when I uh, am on my main trip as far as how they actually work. But uh, the people that I've talked to and the internet reviews that I've seen absolutely swear by these. Uh, they are really great. So that is the Steiger Muckluck and a review of the Steiger Muckluck on my tabletop because I haven't had a chance to use them in real cold weather yet but I will in the end of January and I will post uh, another re video review uh, when I actually get done using these for a week out in 40 below zero. One question that I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get is uh, about these Steiger Mucklucks is that, hey Garrett, they're not waterproof. What happens if you go up there and it's warm and you have to deal with a lot of water and slop and muck and you don't have waterproof footwear? Well, first of all, um, I did order a second set of the uh, wool felt liners and uh, in, inside boots so I can dry one out at night uh, when I'm, when I'm uh, sleeping and I can have the other one inside the boots uh, to make sure that my feet stay warm and dry. But the other thing that you can do, and this was the idea, is there's a company called Tingly. I think it's T-I-N-G-L-E-Y. And they make an overboot that's really meant for construction. You can find them at you know, a lot of, you know, I'm not sure if you guys have fleet farms where you are, but um, farm type stores. It, it's kind of a muck boot. Uh, they're not very heavy. This one has a little bit of structure to it simply because... Uh, I've got the wool felt liner inside it and the wool felt liner just slides right in and this is what's left with the boot. Uh, they're very light. Again, I'm going to show you my trusty scale and I'm going to weigh that just the outer boot for you. And the outer boot will weigh here in just a second as soon as the scale comes back to life. The outer boot itself weighs about 14, about a little over 15 ounces, which is very, very light. And then when you add that to the weight of the wool felt liner, wool felt liner is about another 6 ounces. For, so for 23 ounces, you have a waterproof outside, and then you've also got your wool felt from the mucklucks uh, inside. So it gives you a really good, very light option. Uh, these tinglys roll up into almost no space. They don't take up much room in a pack. And it's a great uh, option for when the temperatures are closer to freezing. And you have to start to deal with slush and a lot of water or, or a lot of wetness that, that's, that might be out there uh, when you're not going to want to use mucklucks because while you can make them water resistant, they're never going to be waterproof. So that is the wet weather option uh, that I'm going to be using when I go up to northern Maine. Well, that's it for today, everybody. I appreciate your time. Hope you learned something from the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to favorite it and uh, tell your friends about my videos. As always, have fun, be safe, and hey, take your kids' kids camping. Have a great day, everybody.